Hello and welcome to the Web Certain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. The global wearables market has hit a record high. Google is to be investigated by the Turkish authorities. And a new study has found that digital video watching is the most popular digital activity in the UK. A new report has revealed that the global wearables market is currently worth more than ever before. Data from the worldwide quarterly wearable device tracker from the IDC states that in Q4 2016, the market saw 33.9 million wearable units shipped around the world. There was also a 25% growth in the market over the course of 2016, with a total of 102 million wearable devices sold. A senior research analyst for IDC said that the increase was partly due to changes in the market, which meant that manufacturers had the opportunity to sell multiple wearables to a single consumer under the guise of fashion. The report also said that outside of the more successful wrist-worn devices, ear-worn and intelligent clothing made up 1% of the market each and are expected to grow in 2017. Google has come under pressure from the Turkish government after Turkey's competition board announced that it would be investigating the search engine. In a statement, the board said that it would be investigating whether Google had violated Turkish competition laws. The board will be looking into contracts that Google has signed with equipment producers, its applications and mobile services. The opening of an investigation follows a second evaluation into claims made against Google after the first evaluation concluded that an investigation would not take place as it was not necessary. A study conducted by eMarketer has found that digital video viewing is the most popular digital activity in the UK behind only general internet use. The study estimated that 43 million Brits or 65% of the entire population will watch video digitally via any device at least once per month this year. When looking solely at smartphone users, this proportion is expected to rise to nearly 70%. The most used platform for watching short-form videos will be YouTube, whilst the two most popular platforms for watching long-form videos will be iPlayer and Netflix. eMarketer notes that this presents challenges to advertisers who cannot advertise on these two platforms and are therefore likely to look to YouTube or Facebook for pre-roll video ads. Singapore's mobile e-commerce market is expected to surpass the $850 million barrier this year, according to a study from PayPal. According to the report, 38% of adults in Singapore will be increasing the amount of money they spend online as the convenience and reliability of e-commerce improves. It also found that more than two-thirds of online shoppers had made a purchase from overseas on their smartphone over the past year, helping Southeast Asia become one of the leading regions for mobile penetration. Looking forward, PayPal Southeast Asia said that 2017 looks to be a year of growth and opportunities by providing endless choices and possibilities for the mobile savvy generation as they live their lives on the go. And finally, Amazon has announced that a mistake by Amazon Web Service put several high profile sites offline at the start of March. The sites affected by the mistake included the image hosting site Giphy and the online forum Quora. Amazon explained that during a routine debugging of the Amazon Web Services billing system, one of the inputs to the command was entered incorrectly and a larger set of servers was removed than intended. Around 150,000 sites were affected in total. And that's it for me today. Thank you for joining us. And be sure to check out our catch-up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos, and more. See you next time.